Hello, Classic Rock fans. I'm reporting just a couple of days after seeing Free Fallen, the Tom Petty Concert Experience, play a show at the South Milwaukee Performing Arts Center. This was part of their 2023 Listen to Her Heart tour, and it was a great show. I only ever saw Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers once. I saw them on their final tour in 2017. It was the second of a two-night stand they played at Milwaukee's Summerfest. And, you know, I was at the second show. So that was the very last time Tom played Milwaukee. And he had played Summerfest reliably, like, every two or three years before that. And when I was walking out of that show, I realized what a mistake it had been for me skipping all those other opportunities I had to see him play at Summerfest over the years. Um, I definitely had contemplated seeing him before, but he was such a staple at Summerfest, I always took it for granted and, you know, spent my money on different tickets. So when he announced his farewell tour, you know, I thought, okay, well, I can't miss this one. And uh, again, walking out of that show, that was just one of the best shows of the year, um, and I just had regret for skipping him all those other times because it was just an awesome performance. And then, of course, Tom sadly passed away just a couple of months later. And since then, I've just really wanted to hear Tom's music in concert, but have not had many opportunities. In 2018, there was a special tribute show uh, that was done here in Milwaukee, that was a bunch of different artists getting together and doing a couple of Tom Petty songs on stage as part of one big concert. But that show was like part of an annual benefit concert series. It just happened to be a Tom Petty related show that year because he had passed it just a few months uh, before. And since then, just the odd cover at a random concert, like when I saw Stevie Nicks, you know, just one-offs here and there. So... I haven't seen a proper Tom Petty concert since that one benefit back in early 2018. So when I saw that Free Fallen was coming to town, I got really excited because I wanted to hear Tom Petty music in a concert setting. And if you're a subscriber to this channel, you might have saw that I reached out to the band leader and drummer of Free Fallen, Mark Larson, and invited him up to be a guest on my podcast to talk about the show. And he did, and we had a great conversation about what they do in the band, and it was the perfect lead up. Uh, to get me excited to see them play live uh, here in my city. And just to get right to the point, the show absolutely lived up to my expectations. It exceeded my expectations at points. They did some really unique stuff uh, with some of Tom's songs. And they played such a great set list of hits, sprinkled in with a couple of deep cuts, which is true to how Tom did his shows. Uh, Petty shows were not just the greatest hits set. They always included some deeper cuts as well. So seeing a tribute band now do something similar um, kind of took me back. Took me back to that 2017 show. Uh, they started off the show by playing Tom's instrumental version of Goldfinger over the uh, PA, which I thought was just awesome because that's one of those little things of uh, Tom's concert history that a lot of people don't realize is that he liked to play like James Bond music as part of the show uh, from time to time. I guess he was a, a Bond fan, uh, and I am too, so I love hearing that stuff. And then they just played for, I thought it was going to be an hour and a half. It was like an almost two-hour show crammed full of this great Heartbreakers music. And on a song like Don't Come Around Here No More, which has a pretty complex uh, intro, uh, they did some unique stuff. Um, so it didn't sound exactly like the studio track, um, but that's good because I like when tribute shows uh, put their own original spin on things. I, I want them to play, of course, the songs recognizably, but I also really want to hear them do their own original twists on it. And it's hard to Thread that needle. I definitely can appreciate that. Uh, I think they did, and to me, that's what makes them a standout um, when it comes to tribute artists. And of course, the mark of a good tribute act is uh, effort and production, and all of that is very present with this band. First of all, their lead singer 
Wade Kirby looks a lot like Tom. And their lead guitar player, Carl Schwartz, looks like Mike Campbell. And that's important. Uh, and then, of course, the costumes that they choose reflects what uh, Tom and the Heartbreakers wore back in the day. And when they do the song Don't Come Around Here No More, there's this great moment where Wade uh, opens a chest that's on stage and has the, the Mad Hatter top hat and, and puts that on. And it's, it's showmanship. It's engaging and it's fun, and the audience uh, reacted really well to it. So it was a night full of fantastic and really well-played Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers music, but it was also done so um, in an immersive way that I thought brought the vibe and brought what Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers were all about to the audience beyond the music. They played all of the Tom Petty hits that you certainly would want to hear, and they put their own original spin on those tracks. And... The front man, Wade, was very funny at points. You know, he made little jokes and observations to the audience, and it went over really well. So this is a band that I believe is absolutely worth seeing if you're a fan of Tom Petty. So yeah, I think they're a really good show. I really appreciate uh, Mark coming on my podcast to talk about what they do in their show and how they put this group together and why they chose Tom Petty. Uh, to be a tribute act for. Uh, so if you want to learn more about this band, I would actually really recommend you check out that conversation I had with Mark. I got a chance to catch up with him at the show. Uh, just really cool to speak with him there as well. Just about the nicest guy. So, yeah, I would really encourage anybody who loves Tom Petty to go see this band if they come to town because I, I just can't believe it's been six years, but Tom's been gone and his passing has left a void. So if you want to hear his music live in concert, as in like a full proper concert, there's very few options um, outside of celebratory acts like Free Fallen. And I had such a positive experience that I hope to encourage anyone who wants to hear Tom Petty music in concert to absolutely check them out if you're, if they come to town. Because um, if you're on the fence, uh, you know, about seeing a tribute show, well, let me reassure you, this is one that takes what they're doing very seriously, very dedicated to their craft, and they know what they're doing. So, uh, thanks again to Mark for coming on my podcast. I really enjoyed talking to you about your band. Uh, I had a great time at the show. And uh, hopefully next time Free Fallen is in my neck of the woods, Mark will come back and tell me what the band is up to on that tour. Otherwise, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and find our social media links in the description below. If you're a fan of classic rock, which I suspect you are, you might want to check out the podcast I do. It's about classic rock. And like I said, Mark Larson from Free Fallen was the most recent guest on the show. But we've had a lot of great guests this year, and we have more coming soon. So please check out that as well. Link is in the description below. But with that, thanks again for watching. See Free Fallen, and keep rocking. Yeah, 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 the way is the hardest part every day you see one more card you take it on faith and pay it to the heart awaiting is the hardest part you gotta get it right